Amazing. This map has the area of each country apportioned according to their surface area on a globe, which means it's a, a normal map. Okay, so, <laughs> no, so what's, what, what's in, so what we're about to do is morph the area of each country according to how much peer-reviewed science research is conducted in that country. Okay, let's do that. So this is a measure of who's doing the most science in the world. Some countries will shrink relative to that area you see here. Others will expand depending on how active they are in science. So let's check out what happens when we do this. Well, United States is sitting fat and pretty there, I'd say. That's America, yeah. Yeah, okay. Wait, what's that big purple region away? Whoa, what was that? What's that purple? Whoa. What country is that? Japan, kicking major science butt on the map right there. One of the great tragedies is Africa shrinking to nothing in area on this chart compared with the area it actually occupies in the world, that is a modern day tragedy right there, given the natural resources that are prevalent within it. Europe is huge. They split formerly Eastern Europe, that's in blue, from Western Europe, that's in those shades of pink. So, oh, and there you have uh, Brazil, looking, that's the uh, aerospace industry, kicking in there. All right, so, wait, so the, you look at this, you say, hey, we're doing pretty good. Tyson, what are you complaining about? Okay? Okay? This is the wrong map. What you want to look at is not how much science is going on, no. You want to look at the change in how much science is going on from the year 2000 to 2010. That's the trend line. That is the future of the world. Compare the difference in published research papers in all sciences between 2000 and 2010. And you get this. Europe is even bigger. Japan is even bigger. China is huge. Africa is even smaller. <laughs> this is the changing landscape of the world. As everyone else understands the value of innovative investments in science and technology in ways that we do not, we slowly fade.